subtracting polynomials. This also involves simplifying. So we can start off with a polynomial such as 5x minus 3 minus 3x plus 4. So we're subtracting the polynomial 3x plus 4 from the polynomial 5x minus 3. But because the 3x minus 4 is a polynomial that we're subtracting, it's like we're putting it in brackets. And if we're subtracting a polynomial, that means that the what we are subtracting, that polynomial that we're subtracting, has to have all its signs flipped over. So it's like saying really 5x minus 3 minus 3x minus 4. And, and that is because the sign in front of the second set of brackets changes the sign in the second set of brackets. And so when we gather our like terms, we end up with 5x minus 3x plus 3 minus 4. And that's when we gather our x's and we gather our constants together. And then the 5x minus 3x becomes 2x, and the 3 minus 4, well, 3 take away 4, you get negative 1. And that's our answer. The, uh, you, so that one is fairly straightforward. So we have an x and an x, you gather your x's, you gather your constant terms, and combine them, combine the like terms into a single term. Subtracting polynomials. Now we have here x squared plus 3x minus 5. We take away the polynomial x squared plus 3x minus 8. So we're taking away a polynomial from a polynomial. Once again, Everything in the second bracket has its sign flipped over when we remove the bracket. So what we get really is x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus x squared minus 3x plus 8. So the x squared in the second bracket changes to negative x squared. The 3x changes to negative 3x. And the negative 8, the minus 8, the last term in the second polynomial, the negative 8, gets switched to a positive 8. That's the effect of the minus sign outside the bracket. Okay, So then we gather our like terms. We get x squared minus x squared. And we also notice we get a negative 3x minus 3x. Well, that's minus 3x minus 3x. And lastly, we get a 5 minus a negative 8, which is the same thing as 5 plus 8. So x squared minus x squared, that just goes to 0. The terms cancel, right? They, the terms cancel, it just goes to 0. Anything subtracted from itself is 0. So that's why x squared minus x squared is 0. Negative 3x minus 3x, negative 3x minus 3x, that's like 2 times negative 3x. That's minus 6x, okay? And then 5 plus 8 is 13. So the answer, the polynomial you get as a result, is negative 6x plus 13. Now, it's not always true that, x, that you'll always get x squared canceling out the, like that or ter any terms canceling out like that, but it sometimes happens. It just doesn't always happen. But this is one example where it did. And we got rid of x squared, and our final answer didn't have any x squared terms in it. And that happens because the x terms were subtracted out in, the, in one of the middle steps. For our last example, we're going to take 2x squared plus 5x minus 11 and subtract the polynomial negative 8x squared minus 10x plus 8. Now the minus in front of the second polynomial changes the signs of everything inside the bracket just like before. So then what we end up what we end up uh, having to do is to have 2x squared plus 5x minus 11 plus 8x squared plus 10x minus 8 so that all the signs flip inside the uh, second bracket and that's once we take our brackets off. So when we gather our like terms, we find out we have 2x and 8x. And we also have 5x and 10x. And we have 11 minus 8. Okay? Um, and that results in, well, when we add 2x, and 8x, 2x squared and 8x squared together, we end up with 10x squared. 
and uh, when we add 5x and 10x together, we add we get 15x, and we take a negative 11 and take away 8. You get negative 11 minus 8, which makes negative 19. It's like adding 11 and 8, except that, except you're adding negative numbers. So you get a number that's even more negative when you do that. So your answer then is 10x squared plus 15x minus 19. So in this case, when we subtracted two polynomials, all of the terms were, were preserved. We had our x squared term in our answer, our x in our answer, and our 19 in our answer.